before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for 50 subscribers. Really appreciate it. And yeah, yeah. let's get this video started. Let's get this video started. Okay, so put your picture in if you haven't already. I'm going to use her. Alright, so before you do anything, make sure you pre-compose your clip. So right click the picture, pre-compose, and then this option, this option, and then OK. And then once you do that, you're going to select this right here, and then you're going to press proportional grid. So it'll be like proportional. So it'll be like proportional. So it'll be like proportional. Book me now. Book me now. So once you do that, we're going to duplicate this right here. Control D, and then we're going to make a cube. But before you freak out, cubes are very easy. So I'm going to show you real quick. Duplicate this layer five times. And then you should have six in total. And then once you have six in total, we're going to make them all 3D. So hold shift, click the top one and then the bottom one. And then we're going to select 3D. Once you do that, we're going to press this option right here where it says active camera and we're going to change it to custom view one and then it should like something like this um you could turn this off um we don't actually need this right now so just press this again i don't know where i turned it on we're going to make our cube so select this second one click r on your keyboard and then change the value to negative 90 negative 90 and then we're going to drag it like right here and it should snap if it doesn't snap there should be like a selection an option right here and then you can turn it off and on we're gonna go to the third one and press R on your keyboard this rotation to negative 90 put this one right here go to our fourth one click R change it to you don't really need to change this one I'm just gonna put 180 and then we're gonna move this back here then we're gonna go to our this one press R again we're gonna change the X rotation this time and we're gonna do 90 or negative 90 then I'm gonna drag it on top then we're gonna change this one right here I'm gonna put this one at 90 until it snaps okay so once you do all of that we're going to make a no layer for everything so new no object and then we're gonna cut this off right here make sure your no layer is 3d and then we're gonna select all of these and then we're gonna link it like this and then once you press R on the no layer and rotate it, it should move. But as you can see, it's not like centered. So what we have to do is change the anchor point. Click the no layer, hold Y on your keyboard, and then we're going to move it until it hits this corner point right here. And once you rotate it again, it should be centered more. But if it's not centered all the way, you can just move it some more. So hold Y and then I'm going to move it like a little more. It should be centered. Okay, so after that, we're going to go back to our active camera, and then it's going to look like this. But once it looks like this, we're going to move the bottom layer that we duplicated in the first place and move that to the top. And now we're going to make a mask. Click this, proportional grid. We're going to select this right here. Then we're going to click rectangular, rectangle tool, and then we're going to make a rectangle. So we're going to start right here, and then we're going to make a rectangle. And then once you have that, we're going to invert it. Make sure it's inverted. First thing you need to do, press S on your keyboard. And then we're going to make the scale go up. So go like a few frames forward. And then we're going to scale this up until it's gone. And then we're going to make a graph. So hold shift, select both of your keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then we're going to make a graph. So you can either use the value graph or the speed graph. I'm going to do something like this. Or the speed graph is going to look something like that. And then once you do that, on the no layer, click S, um, make a stopwatch, click the stopwatch I meant. We're going to go a few frames forward again. And then what we're going to do is scale it out like that. And then what we're going to do after that is press R on our keyboard. We're going to go back to the beginning, make a keyframe right here, just select all of them. And then we're going to go to where our keyframe stopped or whatever. You can rotate it however you want. I need to fix the anchor point because it's kind of janky. I don't know. It should be kind of more fixed. Okay, I think I fixed it. So rotate it however you want. Um, I'm going to do something like... 
and then once you do all that it should look like this now all right and then once you do that we're going to do graphs highlight over your keyframes keyframe assistant easy ease our graph go back to your other graph make sure it like aligns so it won't look weird okay so it's a little slow so i'm gonna tighten the graph up a little bit i fixed all the graphs because yeah it was a little too slow so it should look something like this now Oh wait, I missed a graph. Hold up. Oh, I forgot the scale the graph. That's like why it looks so weird. Make sure you do the um scale graph too, guys. So all the graphs. So my bad, my bad, my bad. Make sure you turn on motion blur for everything. So I'm just gonna do that. And then what we're gonna do to make it look like the best, we're gonna make a light. So right click right here or press layer new, and then press light. You can copy these settings, I guess. You can just add whatever effects you want, and then we're done with the transition. Like, thank you guys for watching. I wanted to do something like kind of simple, but kind of not simple, but simple. I'm gonna hook y'all up. Like, I'm gonna make sure y'all edits look bomb. But anywho, hope you guys have a great day. Love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.